Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoven of Ramos Law and your host of Health Matters. Today, I'm answering a question that we've gotten from lots of patients over the years, and that's this. Do these topicals of heat or ice or whatever these lotions and potions are that you put on your neck or your back actually work? Well, topical creams are huge, and I'm gonna share with you the secrets of them right now. When it comes to things you can put on your skin for pain, there's almost an unlimited number of products. Everything from Bengay to Flexol 454 to Hyper Ice to um, Dry Ice, all these different brand names of these products that can be put on your body. Interestingly enough, all of them are similar in what they're trying to do. Essentially, whether they're a compound that's trying to say it's adding heat to the system or it's trying to ice the system, that's more of a subtlety. But in actuality, what they're all trying to do is put sensation onto the skin that takes a message to the brain that tells the brain, we're gonna downregulate the pain signal. We don't need to send as much pain. They're actually kind of covering up the pain signal by filling in all these gates that take messages up to the brain. They're called pain gates. It's kind of old school neurology here. It would cover these pain gates with all this sensation so now that the pain signals can't get in and be interpreted by the brain as, ooh, this is pain. So when we take any of these creams, these lotions, and we rub them on our neck, for example, if our neck is sore, it's just think of it as a flood of information. That's why you feel that kind of menthol or camphor, whatever the primary products are. And by the way, the, the main difference in all of these products is proprietary blends of the same types of ingredients. So it's not like there's a lot of new revolutionary pain creams out there. They're all based on a few different categories and then they will take those categories and they'll proprietarily mix them so that they'll find something that works. Even the, you call, there's one called Deep Blue out there and it's not that much different from one called Rock Sauce. But they all might have, some might have essential oils in them, some have liniment in them. So it just kind of depends on the maker and what they're looking for and the formula they found. And then to make theirs just a little bit different, they just tweak it. But again, the big message is when you get these things, then you rub them on the area and you got to make sure that you don't do heat with these things, especially the ones that are supposed to be generating heat. I've seen this in practice before where someone has put a, a, a topical on them and then put a hot pack on them and got horribly blistered. So that's a cautionary tale. Make sure that you're not doing that if you're going to put that stuff on there, okay? Now, the other thing is really watch any of that stuff that you put on your body. Totally makes sense on this. It's common sense. Do not rub your eyes or put this stuff in any kind of open wound or anything because it is not comfortable. So you're gonna wanna stay away from that. Wash your hands really good after applying them. Then what you also wanna do is leave it on for a while and notice how long that effect lasts for. Because here's the thing, when that thing is really, really doing its job, when that, that ointment is or that uh, topical, you're gonna feel different. You're most likely you're gonna feel better if the pain is muscular in nature. If the pain is organic in nature, in other words, in an organ, but it feels like it's in your back, but it's in your kidney, you put that stuff on, it might not have much effect because it's, that's not the, the reason for the pain. So if it is working on the pain, remember this, it's not a license to steal. And what I mean by that is, if you feel great putting this stuff on and you feel not great when you don't have it on, if you put it on, your brain is, remember, it's not getting the sensation that it gets of these pain signals. So you might think, oh, I'm better. Now I can go crazy and go lift or go running or play my sport. Not a good idea. You wanna know how your body's feeling before you go into activity. So if you have any questions about that, you need to work with your providers to be sure that you're still clear to play if you have to use that stuff to try to get through a bout of exercise. So those are the basic fundamentals on any of the topical creams. Of course, if you have specific questions or would like to just reach out to give us another topic to talk about, please do so. You can reach me at email at jim at ramoslaw.com. That's jim at ramoslaw.com. And I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. So if this was helpful for you, please pass it around and share it. We want to get the message out to as many people as we can about this single concept, your health matters.